this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another golden book uh, made into a journal to show you. And this one is Dr. Dan. And I made this one the same way as I did this one that I was already showing you. I'm going to link the video just in case. So this one, um, the charms here is this vintage piece and these are two separate charms and there's some, because there's some writing because it's like school and stuff or kindergarten. There's also some math here on this charm. And then on this one, the charms, the pieces I picked for the charms are this uh, Tim Holtz here is, it says in my heart and it's because it's doctor and because there's a, a little romance going on here. So I thought that was cute. And then this is also a vintage piece, beautiful. And so these are two separate charms and this all can be removed when you open the ring. And then this one is on the clasp, as you can see. So all pretty much to match the cover. And there is also a bow on the side. So when you have it, uh, you can move the bow. It's a sari silk piece here. So it will look really pretty on the shelf. And this one is also sari silk to close the book. So the rings are uh, pretty large. I forget the size, but they're well over an inch and um, so they they can hold a lot and I was also thinking that actually this book um, would be perfect actually both of them would be a great for Mother's Day I think that would be a great gift uh, for Mother's Day so let's see let's look at this one very similar to the other one if you watch the other video so here is a pocket on the front and you have library card and then a handmade laminated tag it's a napkin so it goes in here and the book is in order i like to have these books the pages in order in, um, in every journal that I make. Then there are pieces I picked pretty sturdy uh, pages for the journals. So this one is um, the paper from Dollar Tree and it's a uh, a lot of ephemera in it. This is a journaling card. <clears throat> this one I thought looked cool and you could glue this here and here and make a tuck spot behind it. Then some pages flip and you can make pockets with these pages. So you could glue this and this and have a pocket here. And here's the book page again. Perfect for picture. Planner. That's the happiness level. I like to use these pages. And the pages I also uh, inked. So here's another floral page. The paper is, um, I've had this paper for some time. It's kind of more sturdy than uh, regular paper pads. And then this one also, just like the other one, has this uh, wallpaper pocket. So um, it's vintage wallpaper, really pretty. And there is a piece of paper inside of the pocket. So you can write extra notes on there. And then a couple tags. So this one is um, stamped, inked, and um, comes with some sorry silk and lace and buttons bird stamped on it and this one kind of cottagey looking 
And then this is um, a lined paper. So I think I have three lined pages, so we can journal here. This is textured, I love this paper. I think I only have one paper pad of this particular pattern. Some flowers on this lined paper. This is again the Dollar Tree thicker paper and some I glued some ephemera on the pages. Paper bag with extra piece of paper so you could glue this somewhere. Um, maybe where you have the book pages you could glue this and then journal on it would look pretty on this too and then you can add your own things so that's that and this cute stamp here beautiful pages and this is photo album sleeve uh, space for two pictures so I have a postcard here just like I had in the other journal so um, these two journals are made the same way pretty much and then here is a large tag so you can use it for multiple pur purposes and of course it, it will make beautiful background for anything your own collages and lined paper here and then this is again this sturdy paper that's um, inked around and it's kind of looking yellow maybe because it is a little old I've had it for a while this is an envelope that is uh, stamped here and then there's uh, some glittered piece glued to that for just extra and then uh, lined paper so you can always cut these into smaller pieces and glue them somewhere in a journal and uh, just write on them especially when you have darker uh, patterned paper that you don't know what to do with then you can definitely glue some lighter color pages and you can uh, journal on those so beautiful I love this paper so that's another tag and this is another journaling card remember this it says so it's here and a couple tickets if you need them So that's this page and then these vintage uh, I love I don't know where I got these from actually I think I bought I think I bought that on eBay so here's the book page and this is again paper from Dollar Tree and I stitched this vintage playing card here to make a tuck spot Paper. Here again is botanical page. So this is some collaging on the page. A handmade envelope with extra journal card inside. And then here is a stamp. This is journaling card. And then a little stationery to add somewhere and another journal card. This is a greeting card. So the print was here. So I made this pocket to kind of cover it. So that's another journal card here. And there's also one inside. A 
little moments, big memories. Some paper clips with sari silk and stamped little bag. You can, of course, glue it somewhere in a journal. And then you have a purple color piece of paper to journal on. And this was on this side, double-sided tag. And I guess this one was also there. That's some cool ephemera from Amazon. Looks vintage, but it's new. <clears throat> so you can you can read uh, you can read those um, textured paper from Dollar Tree. Here's another botanical page. Another beautiful. Uh, paper. This is um, this is also paper from Dollar Tree. It's some uh, uh, ephemera on the side glued to it. So that's a more sturdy piece. And then I have here a vintage library card. And then this is uh, handmade embellished paper clip so clips on here and then on this side I have another journal card this again is paper from Dollar Tree with some <clears throat> decoration and it's stamped this is another piece of that Dollar Tree paper. Really cool texture. And here's another of these things to read and you can uh, glue it in a journal if you want to and decorate it paper clip with sari silk. And another journal card in here. So that's another page. And here is a double-sided tag. That's another packet, uh, stamped. And then here are some fabrics, so you can um, you could uh, cut these and add them as tabs in a journal. And here is one more I can add. You could, um, you can definitely uh, glue a piece of paper on top of that and just have it as journaling card. So I'm going to add this here in case you needed that. I would need a paper clip, so I'm going to find a paper clip later and just clip it here. Or I'm going to actually stitch it here because it was supposed to go in here. So I'm just going to stitch that. Probably like that. Because I still want the other one to uh, showing on the side, but it's blue. It was supposed to be here. So I'm going to edit, stitch it. Here is another of these uh, handmade paper clips. So it clips on a page, and that's a journaling card, as you can see. And then on the other side, I have this punched tag with Tim Holtz paper. And that's, I thought that was cool. This this page so that's really that's a lot of stuff in this journal um, again you can do anything you want with this page but I liked it for this journal here is the jumbo playing card I was showing these cards
that is a vellum envelope that I stamped and then I added this bird die cut and it has stuff just like the other journal extra uh, paper to journal on and then maybe glue in a journal and then here's another of these ephemera pieces from Amazon and this is just some cool piece of paper so in this envelope and of course you could um, when you work in this journal you could definitely add just put a picture it's stiff because it's, um, it's vellum it's pretty sturdy actually you could add a picture here and it would be, it would be showing through this but it's such a pretty page. And then here's another beautiful textured page. And here's something I wanted to show you. I guess I was tired yesterday. I think I was tired yesterday because when I was recording the other video, I made so many mistakes when I was talking and I didn't, I don't usually edit the video. So it is what it is, but I was tired and <laughs> I just punched the wrong side and I'm actually glad that happened because it's there's a good chance it will happen to you because it happened to me multiple times and I just glued a piece of paper over this so it kind of looks like it's finished and it looks like it's supposed to look like this and it might but the reason for it is I had to cover those holes so that's what happened so if that happens to you don't panic you can just always cover that I was even thinking to leave it but I would like it for extra effect but not everybody uh, I don't know maybe not everybody would so I, I decided to cover that and I found a piece of paper that was actually in this color so it kind of matched so here is this journal and as you can see it's a lot of stuff in it and um, as I mentioned mentioned before I think these journals would make a perfect Mother's, uh, Mother's Day gift if you're looking for a journal for Mother's Day. It doesn't say Mother's Day on it, but there are many mothers who remember reading these books uh, to their kids when they were little. And so I think that that would really make a nice gift, especially there's a lot of vintage touches to these books and like, this, this is, uh, these are vintage, these kind of look vintage, and then there's the vintage uh, looking ephemera, vintage um, wallpaper, and the papers I was also trying to coordinate to look somewhat vintage. So um, I really think these are great for Mother's Day. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and uh, joining me here. And thank you so much for your comments and kind words and liking and sharing my videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.